Now, your first question should be, why am I up at three in the morning just finishing my presentation now? And that is it. That is the general surgery exam. Woo! And knowing that you, you did it and, and you, you worked your butt off and you got something done. Mm, time to wake up. Wake up. Traveling, you're out on your own. Oops. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianluca and I'm a second year medical student currently studying in Canada. Now your first question should be, why am I up at three in the morning just finishing my presentation now? Uh, especially when my OR starts tomorrow at eight o'clock. And this all started on Saturday. I had my 18 hour call shift on Saturday, which means that we took Sunday off. I hadn't seen Nikki in a while. So we got together, we did some filming with the new drone. Uh, but that just means that this this project, this presentation that I'm giving for the Canadian Society of Epidemiology and Biostatistics, I have to get this done right now before I go to sleep. Well, for now, finally, going to sleep, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Welcome to surgery. Don't force me out of bed in your society. Don't push me down. So this is actually my last week of surgery right now. Just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up as to what it's been like for us. Um, we're on six days a week, Monday to Friday, and then we have a call day on the weekend. Uh, and call is one in four calls. So that comes out to call two days a week. Those shifts could be anywhere between 15 and 18 hours, um, usually. And that's in-house call. So we're gonna be at the hospital for that. And because of all the COVID restrictions here in Ontario, a lot of the elective surgeries got canceled. So we're all a little bit scared at first if, there was going to be enough for us to do here at the hospital. And as it turns out, there's been plenty for us to do. As far as general surgery goes, there's still a lot of emergency surgeries that we'll see. Appendectomies, mastectomies, anything for cancer really is still going on. But then if there's really nothing going on in terms of surgeries on one particular day for general surgery, we'll scrub into a vascular surgery, or orthopedic surgery. So we've been pretty busy this entire time. Time to wake up, wake up. Whew. Today was a good day though. Um, there weren't any general surgeries being planned for the day. So I hung out with the vascular surgeons all day, which was awesome because they bought me a uh, Tim Hortons black coffee and a hash brown. So your acts of kindness will not be forgotten vascular surgeons, thank you. I don't know what it's like at other schools, but at our school, because the program is so small, we scrub into everything when we're on surgery. So today with the, the vascular surgeons, we are doing uh, an aortic aneurysm repair and I was at the table and they let me deploy a $5,000 stent that was just getting ready to help out however I can. And the surgeon's like, hey, you wanna quickly deploy this $5,000 stent? And I'm like, um, yes. We still got a long night ahead of us. We have our exam coming up on Thursday. So there is a lot of studying that I gotta get done between now and, and then. Um, and then also I gotta work on a second uh, presentation for research tonight. So uh, long night. <music> Hey 
Hey everybody, we're gonna get back to the vlog in just a second. Before we do, I just wanna take this time right now to say thank you to our channel sponsor, KenHub, for allowing me to make content like this. Now, KenHub is a total online anatomy hub and they have everything from helpful lectures to anatomy atlases to clinical tips regarding the different diseases associated with certain organ systems. KenHub has definitely been a big help when it comes to learning anatomy. Now, if you guys wanna check them out, you could do so entirely for free by looking at their YouTube channel where they have hundreds of really helpful videos trying to help students learn anatomy. But if you wanna take it a step even further beyond that, you could go ahead and use the code in the description below to get 10% off of their premium service, which will allow you access to different question banks and all of the premium features associated with KenHub. So once again, thank you so much to KenHub for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back to the vlog. And we're doing the thing. You guys ready? Here we go. Ready? One, two. Oh. <laughs> Being five months in the clerk trip now, I have come to cherish, absolutely cherish every second that I have to lie down in my bed. But today was actually such an awesome day. In the first half of the day, we didn't have any clinical duties at all. And that's because the first half was our simulation day today. So they had the mannequin in there and we were practicing practical skills needing to do with trauma because a lot of people don't know, but general surgeons are often heavily involved in cases of trauma, depending on what center they were working at. But today we were working on things like needle placement for needle decompression. And we also got to practice inserting chest tubes and running some basic trauma simulations. So basically the mannequins that you're using respond to different treatments that you give them. So for example, if you give one liter of uh, bolus ringers lactate, for example, their blood pressure will go up or maybe it'll stay the same or depending on what's going on, the patient's crashing, their blood pressure will fall. Then if you choose to give an antibiotic, you'll say that out loud too. And the preceptor, the person in charge of running the simulation will adjust the vitals of the mannequin basically in response to your treatment. So if you do something good, they improve. And if you do something bad, you, you kill them basically. Still a city, still so far from home. I've searched for you all my life. Cast out like a shadow, racing towards the light. I pray to see. Now we're just gonna talk about this really quickly because I know not everyone is interested in fitness and working out and stuff like that and what I'm doing here, but uh, the next Shred School vlog will be out next week. And as far as working out, staying consistent while you're on clerkship, while you're on surgery specifically, it's been really, really hard. I have been working out four days um, every single week for this entire month so far, but every single time that I've done a workout, that means that I got two hours less of sleep that night and trying to work out after, you know, 16, 17 hour call shift is not possible. So it's only workouts on the days that I'm not on call. Um, and then also we made a switch from black coffee back to the heavy duty stuff. We're back on the pre-workout uh, and that saved my butt. And I don't know, guys, you could take it from me if you want to. Working out was such a big part of my undergrad experience and making it through that. And it's one of the few things that are holding me together here in clerkship. So there's my TED talk, I guess. We are finally on the last call shift of the entire month. I, I actually didn't think we were going to get here at some points. But anyways, the way that this is going to work is that you are scheduled for call twice per week. And we are here from seven o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night, usually. And sometimes we'll go over, especially if you have uh, a surgery or a procedure that you had to scrub into right at the very end. But basically, the way that it works is that you show up here. Uh, it's in-house call, so we're at the hospital. And throughout the entire day, if there's ever a time when general surgery gets consulted to see a patient down in the emergency room or on the internal medicine floor, your attending or your resident, whoever you're working with that day, will send you off to see the patient before they show up. And that way you could do a full history, do a physical exam, look up their lab values and their imaging. And then once you've gathered all of that information, it is your job to present that, that story, to the attending or the resident as succinctly as possible so that you bring them up to speed. And then you also try your best as a medical student to come up with a plan for that patient. Sometimes it goes good, sometimes it doesn't go as good and the, the attending and the resident will have to correct you a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be the entire day. Hopefully we get to see uh, some pretty cool ORs too because I only have today, tomorrow and Friday left. Uh, and, and I'd like to get into the OR as much as possible still. All right, guys, 
Thursday morning right now. Um, pretty rough day um, and night last night on call. I think I got out of there at around 12-ish. Time I got home was like 12.30. So it was about 17 hour shift yesterday. And we have our exam right now, starting up in about 15 minutes. Tried to study a little bit when I got home last night, um, but I just couldn't. It was it was a rough day um, at the hospital yesterday. We saw some really you know, unfortunate stuff for people and uh, I'm gonna write this exam now. Um, you know, try try your hardest to not be on call the day before your exam. I, I feel like I'm not even in it, but we'll do it. Got my coffee here somewhere. So uh, wish me luck. And that is it. That is the general surgery exam. Woo! I feel so much better now that that's over. The pass mark for this one was, I believe, a 52%. Um, and I think I could have done better, to be honest. I, I think if I would have had a little bit more time yesterday, let me turn this camera around. If I would have had a little bit more time yesterday to do some final review, um, probably would have gone at least to maybe 65%, maybe. But uh, exam was two and a half hours. It was 82 multiple choice questions. And uh, that, that's it. Now that that's done, that's one less thing that I got to do. So just got out of the OR, came in for the, the second half of the day to help out with some surgeries. And you know what, guys, I was going to finish this video up um, now, but I, I just realized that almost every time that I've talked to you guys throughout this entire last week, I've been straight out of the OR or I just look like a complete disaster. So let me go home, get changed first. Okay, so I got home after work and I took a nap. I went straight to sleep, napped for about an hour and a half, and it just feels so good to finally be done the exam and to almost be done with surgery. Got one more day tomorrow and I'm looking forward to it, but uh, you know, let's not sugarcoat it. It feels great to be at the end of this rotation. I used to watch vlogs of med students all the time talking about their experience, going through their, their surgery rotation. And, and yeah, it was the most difficult one yet by far, I'd say. Um, but it feels so much better being on the other side now, knowing that I made it through it. And uh, I guess that's the takeaway to whoever's still watching this video at this point. When you're going through something difficult, the reward of making it through to the other side and knowing that you did it and, and you, you worked your butt off and you got something done. I don't know, man. To me, that's like the most addicting, amazing feeling in the world. Okay, so it's getting dark now. I want to end today's vlog. And you know how that we always end these week in the life different specialty ones we're going to go over my favorite thing and my least favorite thing about the specialty overall we're going to do this today because i do have one more day tomorrow but i just want to get the editing done tomorrow after work and that way hopefully i could take the weekend off and rest up a little bit get ready for internal medicine starting up on tuesday so let's just get straight down to it i know a lot of you have reached out to me in the past saying that you want to be a surgeon and you're so excited to be a surgeon the best thing by far about being a surgeon is that it is amazing and it is awesome and there are a few professions in the world that really just convey this sense of amazingness to it the people come to you with the most complex problems and a lot of times not all the time but a lot of times you are able to through the years and years of training that you've been through and the late nights and all the studying and all the stuff that you've been through fix them with by yourself with with the team there too but with your hands hopefully you guys know what i'm trying to say here and you in many cases really are that doctor you are that stereotypical knows what to do you fix it you follow them up afterwards general surgery is amazing in that sense the trade-off though is that i can't even begin to explain to people especially in high school for example and i'm using myself as an example back when i was in high school what you need to give up in order to attain that level of, of being a surgeon and i personally don't think that that lifestyle is sustainable a, a lot of times for a lot of different people the sacrifice that you, that you have to make in certain situations on a personal level is not something that everyone could do and sorry guys we're just gonna move the last part of this video back inside because it was getting too dark out there but basically the second part that i didn't like is that they say that when you're picking a specialty you really have to fall in love with the bread and butter of that specialty and when that comes to general surgery they call it the three b's of general surgery that is boobs bowel and butt that is the mainstay of where all of the cases in general surgery are going to fall into and by themselves each of those things i, I did like a lot of what was offered with it but we didn't see any mental health, for example. There was no cardiology involved. I do like having a little bit more variety, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, so that's what I'm looking for right now. And I think, 
you know, that's going to put me in family medicine or emergency medicine. Those are they're still the two. Nothing's changed at the end of that. But I still have a tremendous amount of respect for the general surgeons. I'm glad that we have people that are doing this stuff out there. And uh, it was awesome. Um, but I'm glad it's done. Anyways, we'll see you guys all on the next one. I uh, hope you guys are having a great week. Leave me any questions, comments, whatever down in the comment section below. And uh, everyone take care. See you later.